I did too much. That's why when I was 19 years old, uh, I got my first injury. The girls, uh, they were older than me, more experienced, uh, so it, uh, it wasn't that easy. I could do more, I could be even top 20, I could feel that. It is uh, very uh, tough to, to switch from junior uh, tournaments to, uh, to the pro. Uh, I remember when I was uh, a junior and I was coming up to play the pro tournaments. I remember that all of uh, the girls, uh, they were older than me, more experienced, uh, so it, uh, it wasn't that easy as in junior because I remember that in junior tournaments uh, sometimes uh, if the girl was very emotional um, she could uh, lose like uh, two games and then she would uh, tank the, the whole set so sometimes uh, the emotions uh, were you know um, taking part of the match but in, in pro tour uh, they were. Uh, there are a lot of older uh, girls uh, with uh, good experience, and suddenly uh, they also uh, they were making less mistakes uh, than in junior tournaments. Uh, so it was it was a, a big step to to change it. With the schedule for the pro tournaments, it was pretty easy because uh, there were there was a lot of. Um, a lot of small tournaments, uh, like 10,000, 25,000. Uh, so basically, uh, I could play week after week. Uh, so in the beginning, I remember I was playing those small tournaments to get used to it, to see the level of the tournaments. Uh, and when I got uh, some points I was going higher and higher uh, so definitely it is important to play those small tournaments to to get used to it because when you're coming from juniors and you are, you are playing already big tournaments like for example WTA it's tough because because uh, you are losing more matches for sure because the level is very tough uh, so it's, it's not possible to, to win a lot of matches so uh, sometimes it's, it, it's very tough because the junior uh, she can lose the confidence by losing, uh, by losing a lot of matches even though it's, it's a big tournament she's thinking that if she was uh, winning in juniors then it's going to be the same in pro but but it was not so it's it's easy i mean it's uh, very important to start with the small tournament uh, to win some more matches to get some more points and then to step into the big world when i uh, went into uh, top 100 when i was 62 uh, I was practicing a lot, uh, I was playing a lot of tournaments, a lot of matches, I was really, I was very motivated, so um, I think I did too much, that's why when I was 19 years old uh, I got my first injury, it was the stress fracture on my lower back and uh, it stopped me for um, six months, that, that's why it was very tough for me. So if I would uh, change uh, something, then for sure uh, I would stop a little bit and not to play so many tournaments. Uh, but that time I was, I was just hungry to, to win matches, to win tournaments, to play more and more. Uh, I couldn't stop and suddenly, um, suddenly the body said no, so uh, I had to stop for, for half a year. That's why maybe if, if I would be more smart and maybe if I could say stop that time for a while, uh, maybe uh, it wouldn't go that far to, to get the stress fracture. If you are outside the top 100 and you are playing uh, small tournaments like ITF, uh, it's it's really tough, especially for girls who 
were at uh, like top 100, top 50. Uh, so like me, for example, I was already 29. I was playing uh, big tournaments on big stadium. And now because of the injuries, I dropped a lot. So I have to play the small tournaments. I have to play the ITFs, which is most of the time in small cities. So it's tough to get there, so the travel is always very long. Uh, the cities are pretty small, so except hotel and tennis courts, you cannot really see that much. Uh, and also it's tough because in th those tournaments, um, there are not a, a lot of spectators. There are like maybe just few people who are coming and and uh, watching the matches so it's tough because uh, the best thing is in tennis is to go on the big stadium to to play in big tournament uh, again against big stars so uh, the atmosphere is amazing over there like during the grand slam but you, when you are playing the small tournament uh, it's tough because no one is watching uh, there is no TV, uh, so sometimes it's really tough to survive. I played a lot of Grand Slam um, already uh, in my life, in my career, uh, but I'm still hungry to, to play some more and to do better. Right now um, the best result for me is second round, uh, which is definitely uh, not enough for me. I want to do, do more, that's why even though I had a few injuries, uh, I still want to come back. Uh, I'm still fighting, uh, still practicing, and I still have, you know, that fire to, to be better. Uh, my best ranking was 29. Um, that time also the injury stopped me because I had a shoulder surgery. Uh, so I know that if the injury wouldn't stop me, I could I could do more. I could be even top 20. I could feel that. Uh, so for sure, uh, I didn't say the last word yet. Uh, and definitely, I'm gonna fight uh, to have better ranking than 29. Now we're gonna work on on my backhand. This is definitely my favorite shot. And uh, in the important moments, I can really count on this, uh, on this back end. Uh, I really like it and uh, it's definitely uh, my best shot. The first exercise uh, for back end, uh, my coach is feeding me ball, uh, short one. Uh, so I have uh, time to, to prepare and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish the, the shot on one leg. This is very important because uh, it's about the balance, it's about the weight transfer. So it's very important to, to finish on the right leg. Proper weight transfer should go from back leg to the front one. If you put your weight on the front leg too early, you will lose a lot of power in your back end. In this uh, exercise, it's important to lean forward, uh, to put the balance on the right leg. So if the, if the ball is short, then I want to help myself with the whole body, not only just, just arms, but the whole body. And then I can put uh, a lot of uh, power in the, in the shot.
it's a big mistake to try to generate power using only arm and racket. Focus on your body and create linear momentum using close stance. The whole body needs to be really stable uh, to, to lean forward and to put the, the weight on the right leg. Uh, and also the, it's very important that the co contact point is going to be in front of me so I can help myself with the whole body to put the, the, all my power into the ball. Try to set up close stance, giving yourself space to hit the ball way in front of the body. If you come too close to the ball, you won't be able to hit the ball hard. My character is uh, very strong and I cannot have like a poker face during my whole match. In the first round uh, I played Venus Williams and I was so scared. And I can scream, I can throw my racket, but it has to be less than three seconds. This is like a first reaction. 